If you're still using Windows 10, you've got less than a year before it becomes unsafe to use. Here's what's happening and what you need to do before it's too late. Microsoft just confirmed it. Windows 10 support officially ends on October 14th, 2025. That's the day your PC will stop getting security updates, bug fixes, and new features. In short, Windows 10 isn't dying immediately, but it's about to become a security risk. But here's the thing, that's not entirely true anymore. Microsoft is quietly giving one more year of free support through the extended security update program built right into Windows settings. Now, some PCs already show an option to enroll, but if you don't see it, don't worry. I'll show you how to enable it manually so your Windows 10 stays protected until October 13th, 2026, at no extra cost. First, open Windows Update and check if you see the message, Windows 10 support ends in October 2025. If it's there, great. You can skip ahead to the enrollment step. If not, let's enable it ourselves. Open Registry Editor as Administrator. Now navigate to H key current user, then software, then Microsoft, then Windows NT, then current version, then Windows. Right here, create a new key and name it Customer ESU. Then, on the right side, create two new DWDRT 32-bit values. ESUE eligibility, set its value to 2. ESUE eligibility result, set its value to 1. If you don't want to do this manually, don't worry. I've exported this registry key for you. Just download it from the link, double-click, run it, and restart your PC. After rebooting, go back to Windows Update. You'll now see the message, Windows 10 support ends in October 2025. Click Enroll Now, and you'll get a pop-up to join the Extended Security Updates program. Click Next, sign in with your Microsoft account, and that's it. You're enrolled. You'll now see, Extended security updates valid until October 13th, 2026. Click Add Device, and you're done. Your Windows 10 just got one more year of life, completely free. If this helped you, drop a like, share it with others still on Windows 10, and if you haven't subscribed yet, now's the perfect time. I've got plenty more useful videos coming up.